Yeah, sure. I mean, you know. Um, okay, so we need to, um, first of all, we need to label the information that we got because there's a lot of stuff up there. And unfortunately, Lamar and Lawrence don't make this very easy. They do not make this very easy. It wouldn't be like, Cat and Bella, that'd be way easier. But Lamar and Lawrence, they both start with an L. So what do you want to call Lamar? L-M. How about one letter? Lamar, okay? So we're going to call Lamar M. And Lawrence W. Perfect. Lamar is approximately normal. What's the mu for Lamar? Lamar. 105. 105. And with the standard deviation. And what's our standard deviation for Lamar? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Then over here, we got Lawrence. So shall we call him W? Yeah. Isn't that interesting how, like, even the first letters that are different in their names are just, like, the reflection of each other? Oh. <laughs> maybe they're twins. Oh, maybe. Um, okay, so for Lawrence... The average time it takes Lawrence is 98, and the standard deviation for Lawrence is 15 minutes. Should we draw a... Uh... Not yet, but you are thinking. I like it. What? Bella already drew this. It's okay. You said how do the game. You should try so much. Okay, so this question is asking us about how often they finish within five minutes of each other, okay? So I have two separate distributions. Lamar has his own distribution of time it takes. Lawrence has his own distribution of time it takes. What are we going to do with these two distributions in this problem? Subtract them. Add them or subtract them? Isn't that the same thing? Mm. Or is that just standard deviation? That's just for standard deviation. Um, so if I want to know, like, I want to think about how often it is that they're finishing within five minutes of each other, what do I need to do to their two distributions? Subtract, Subtract them, right? Yeah. Like, if I want to know, oh, like, yeah. the time oh. it, like, the time in between when they finish, like, let's just say on a random day, Lamar takes 100 minutes and Lawrence takes 80 minutes. Like, Am I going to add those and have 100? Did it take 180 minutes, like the whole thing? Mm -hmm. No, I want to know that Lamar finished 20 minutes earlier than Lawrence, right? That's what I want to do. So we're going to call this D, or whatever letter you want. So D is going to be the difference in their times. So we need to pick, this is super important, does order matter with subtraction? Yes. yes. Yes, so we need to pick an order right now and then stick with it. It doesn't matter which order we do initially, but whatever order we pick, we got to stick with that order. So do you want to do Lamar minus Lawrence? Lamar minus Lamar minus Lawrence. So this is going to be the difference it takes them to finish. So again, it doesn't really matter like here which one we pick. But whatever we pick, we want to make sure we're consistent when we do this. So that's why it's a good idea to write this down so we can't forget what we did. Yes, Laura. Should the L be W? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Laura. Thank you, Laura. This thing's a pencil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That they finish within each other, right? So if I want to find my mean of D, what do you think we're going to do? Subtract, Subtract what? So I'm going to do the average for Lamar minus the average for Lawrence. Okay? Which is going to be 105 minus 98, which is 7. What does that number seven mean? Like, if you had to write a sentence about what seven means in context of this question, what would you say, Bella? On average, it takes Lamar seven minutes longer to do whatever job he has to do <laughs> than it takes Lawrence to do his 
The same job. <laughs> okay, so on average it takes Lamar seven minutes longer to oh. finish his work. Okay. Right? So on average, they're finishing seven minutes within each other, and Lamar is taking longer. Okay, since we're saying on average, like what does that mean? Um, many, 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 yeah, right? So, <coughs> in many, many trials, in many, many days. I'm going to say trials. I know it's weird. Okay. Okay, now here for my standard deviation. What am I going to do for standard deviation when I'm combining two distributions? The variance. Square add square, square root. But this is subtraction. It's the square same, add same thing. thing. Square add square root. So I'm going to do this. Uh, square my standard deviation for this M guy. I don't know who it is. I can't keep track of these names. Right? And do that. Okay? So that means Lamar's was what? 10? And Lawrence's was 15. So it is going to be 18.03. That's the standard deviation. So again, on average, it's going to take Lamar seven minutes longer to finish his work. If you look at many, many trials. And how much can this vary by? Eight, about, 18 about 18 minutes each time, right? So, you know, there's going to be a range. Sometimes Lamar is going to finish faster. Sometimes Lamar is going to finish slower. Um, but that's what's going on. So now, now it says, what's the probability that they're finishing within five minutes of each other? So now what are we going to do? Draw the curve. Now we're going to draw our curve. Okay, if you drew it earlier, that's great. But we didn't really have the information to um, label it yet. Okay. So now, here's our lovely little curve, right? That's really good. Okay, so there's the average time in between them. I want to know. I want to know the probability that they're going to finish within five minutes of each other. So, what does that mean, Kat? From 2 to 12? Hmm? Or would it be minus 2.5 plus 2.5? Why are you doing 2.5? Because they said it's five minutes. I don't know. But mind. five minutes, you're saying 2.5. That's not five. No, I so mean, like, from either, from either side of seven. Yeah. But this it's, is, they're finishing, Lamar's finishing seven minutes longer. Is this even part of it? No. No, if this is happening, oh, we don't want five. this. Are they in first storm? No, I don't know that. I don't know the it's, area. It's, no, it's just not five. Okay, so five. what are the options? Okay, so they want to finish within five minutes of each other. Could Lamar finish first? Yes. Yeah. Sure. And he could finish five minutes ahead of Lawrence, right? Yeah. Could Lawrence finish first? Yes. yes. And he could finish five minutes ahead of Lamar, the other one. I forgot who I said. I hate that their names are so similar. Okay. <laughs> so basically, I could do. Would it be five? Let's see. I could do Lamar minus Lawrence, and I could get positive five. That would be okay, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if Lawrence finishes earlier, if I do Lamar minus Lawrence and he finished earlier, but we still want to be within five, what would I get? Negative five, Negative five right? So basically, I want to know... Everything below five. Everything? What, what, here's like, like 20 minutes earlier. Isn't something. everything between negative five? Negative five and positive five, right? I want to know the probability that, what is that, D, that I'm in between 5 and negative 5. Does that make sense? Like, again, you have to think about what this 7 means. The 7 means Lamar finished 7 minutes slower. Okay, so when I subtract them, I get a positive 7. I want to I want to subtract them and either get 
5 or negative 5 or, anything or in somewhere in between. Because like right in here, they finish at exactly the same time. Is that a possibility? Yeah. Can it be sure. less than or equal to? Since this is normal CDF, does it matter? Oh, no. So, you, okay. so it could be. Sure. Okay. okay. Um, so, we're going to do normal CDF. My lower is going to be what? Negative 5. Negative 5. My upper is going to be? 5. My mu is going to be? 7. My standard deviation is going to be? 18.03. 18.03. You have to purchase this, so no, but you have to purchase this, and this is expensive, so. Oh, so does it come with the calculator? No. no. Oh, it's separate? It's a separate I, thing. I tried doing it once, and it didn't, it didn't work yet, because I was like, oh, yeah. Did I tell you guys, by the way, what I found out what normal PDF means? Were we talking about that in this class? Yes. Yeah. Did mm -hmm. I tell you that I found out what it means? No. no. Normal PDF tells you, you know, I mean, you'll, we'll, I don't think we will ever need this, but it tells you, like, you know, if I have this distribution, and I want to know, like, what the height should be for, like, let's say at 10, if I do normal PDF, it would tell me, like, how tall that should be. Or, like, let's say a, a more probably useful thing to do would be, like, I want to know on my bell curve, like, on the, on the y-axis, on my vertical axis, like, what oh, the, high how high it goes, normal PDF would give me that. So I, I don't know if you wanted to be like super precise when you're plotting your bell curve. Huh? Anyways, um, so normal CDF. So I'm doing negative 5 to 5, 7, 18.03. So about 0.203-ish, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean? It's a there's 20 chance they'll finish within. Yeah, so about 20% of the time they're going to finish within five minutes of each other. Okay? So there is a 20.3% chance that Lamar and Lawrence. Whatever. Will finish. Within five minutes of one another. Okay. Where did you get the so for normal PDF like the the bounds, the lower and upper bounds? Where did you get those? From here. So again, if I take Lamar, which one would we do first? Lamar. If I do Lamar minus Lawrence. If Lamar is finishing, if he's taking longer, but, we, but they finish within